Hey guys, it's Ivy here and welcome back to another episode of our franchise zoo here in Planet Zoo. And last episode we built this California sea lion habitat, as you can see. And they are doing very well. And um, since then, not really much has happened. Um, like always, not, not too much to talk about. So we've got these guys in here. And um, both of our main wolves died. So I put their daughter in here with a male. This is a new, um, new male, main wolf here. And um, they have a 100% chance of offspring. So we should have baby wolves which is great. And um, I've been having everybody researching so um, we get all of our animals researched up. Um, but yes, yeah, so we have our research going on. Sorry, I had a brief pause there. And all of that is going well. We've about got all of them all good. And yeah, so otherwise, like always, not too much going on. All right, habitat cleanliness. Why is this not clean? Should be able to still get in here just fine, I would think. Yeah, so they can get in here. I just don't know why. Okay, I think they got it taken care of now. Just took them a minute. Our guests are not happy. Energy is low, thirst, and education. So yeah, so in this episode, I'm not going to do too much management. It's going to be probably a lot of building. So our um, guests, they need more places to eat. So I think I'm going to build the restaurant over here, like I said. And then I might put down um, some more food over here or over here. I'm not quite sure yet. It'll probably be over here since... We've got this building right here. I'd be kind of pointless to put it so close. Um, but yeah, so we will do that in this episode. And then I am also going to build a habitat over here. Um, I think we're going to do llamas. I think I have a pretty cool idea for this, for building a little llama habitat right here. And I did just expand the past a little bit. Sometimes it's easier to just put the paths down and then kind of build around them to get the layout of your zoo going. So that's what I did there. But um, yeah, so anyway, I am going to take care of these gray seals real quick. We've got too many boys in here. Oh my gosh, yes. Okay, let's go in here, take care of our gray seals real quick, and then we'll get into building. Gray seal. So we've got our boy right here, and then we need to get rid of you, and you're still little, and then get rid of you, send a trade center, and then go back in here and just, I want to make sure that our gray seal babies, all of them have the contraceptives. Good, and then we've got two of our females in the trade center for breeding purposes later on. But, okay, so let's just go in here. Let's, gotta play for a second, pause. Okay, and then get rid of the males. We'll just give that a shot, and then... Okay, and then trade you. <coughs> but, alright, so I guess we will go ahead, we will hop into building our little restaurant over here, and building our llama habitat, so let's go ahead, let's hop in this.
Gott.
Hey guys and welcome back in so we are done with our habitat now and um it is about as good as it's gonna get hold on i gotta I gotta stop this inbreeding we don't need inbred babies contraceptive and hopefully i got there in time gross please no I think we got there in time. But anyway, going back over here. And lots of lag. Okay. So we are back over here. And I could not for the life of me find a female llama. So all we have are males. And that's still, that's all that's in here. So until somebody puts a female in there, um, I'm just stuck with males. But I know it's kind of bland in here. I might come back in here and do some more work. But um, for now, I'm content with it. It, I think it looks... I think it looks good. <laughs> could be better, but it also could be way worse. So, Yep, there's all of our llamas. And I was really worried that this uh, barrier would be too low. But it actually is fine um because yeah when i looked in here it said that they needed the six um point six feet and this is definitely not six point six feet but when you look they are perfectly fine they do not um they can't get out of the enclosure so i am content with that and then i thought this little lean to back here was a little good touch so instead if um there's too many people in here and they can't get enough privacy. They can at least go out back here and hide under this shelter and have another place to stay. And uh, for inspiration, I was just looking at 
the older style barns. I couldn't get this color just right the way I wanted it to. So this was uh, uh, the best I could do with the color. Otherwise, everything else, the roof and the fence, I am very pleased with how that came out. And they are so cute. This is actually the first time I've ever made a llama enclosure. And I am really content with the way it all turned out. And they can get to it this way or this way. And I think it gives good incentive for the people to start walking down this way more. And so we'll start filling in this area as well with other things. And um, I think I'll put the some more food and drinks over here. And then we may put another habitat. It really just depends. I'm not trying to have them all stacked on top of each other, even though that seems to be the way it's going. But I am trying to space them out as best as I can. And I don't think we got there in time. Uh, well, it is what it is. So we'll have to, well, I'll go off camera and I will go through some of these animals because we have inbreeding going on, fighting due to incorrect um, ratio, overcrowding. So I will do that off screen. Um, I won't bore you guys with all of that unless you guys really want to see it. And if so, uh, leave a comment. Let me go ahead and play through this. Oh, yeah. And then um, our restaurant. I added a few more um, touches. I just put the restaurant on there. Very original. And a uh, clock up there. And then I didn't have any awning type over these areas but then it started raining and the guests were standing in line with an umbrella and I was like yeah we probably should um, at least give them some sort of shelter so we did that and I probably could move it down some really so let's see if we can't do that real quick while we're here Move it down just a smidge. Right in above the door. And then grab this piece that I couldn't grab. And move it down. It's perfect. <clears throat> I'm going to pause this again. And then um, I'll probably change the color of this. It's kind of hard to see with it up on this light color wood. Here, change it from white to black. And then I will move that down just a little bit now. Space it out really well. And then something else I don't think I showed, I put the blinds in the window. I think that was a really good touch. Just kind of block out people from looking in even though I don't think they really could but still just a nice little touch go back over here we'll give one more shot at trying to find a female llama for today nope still all males we will get a female eventually <laughs> Go in here. Oh, look at him strutting. And the guests already coming over to see him. But yeah, I had um, inspiration for kind of like a petting zoo in mind. Since, um, you know, you normally see llamas at petting zoos. I thought it was a good idea where the guests could like walk up over here and see him. And then they could go in the barn and pet them. But yes, I guess we are going to go ahead and call this an episode. Remember to like and subscribe if you haven't already. I greatly appreciate it. And I hope to see you all in the next one. Bye, guys.